Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. I'm here with Matt at the Callaway Performance Centre. Um, I have been doing, so gap testing is something that I'm getting a lot of my lessons wanting to do, to really get to know, rather than just saying 10 yards in between and all of this, actually getting a fixed number should really help your score. But a trend that I've been seeing is people show really nice gappings between their wedges, nines, eights, but then as soon as they get into the middle of the set and into those longer irons, the gaps start to bunch, to the, to the point I'm seeing people hit 6-iron, 5-iron, 4-iron, all the same distance. Yeah. All right, what I've been recommending is let's try and get some, maybe a utility iron, a hybrid, something that can A, get you launching the ball, maybe up your ball speed a bit, just to try and create some more natural gaps. Um, as I'm here with you today, I'd like to just kind of hear what your take on, on this situation is. You know, I will agree with you, because when we go through the fitting process here, you ask the question, how much distance do you have? And they will go 10 yards, which is fine normally for your short eyes. When you do get that longer eye, that 10 yards can become three yards or no yards. Yeah. And so for us, it's really key that we maximize their gappage between each golf club. So for example, we will tend to lose your threes and your four irons these days and put the hybrids in the bag. Why? Slightly longer shafts, bigger club heads, we get more ball speed, we can get more club head speed. We can start stretching that distance yeah. back out. So rather than have the three yards, we can get back to your 10 yards. Gives them better control, more distance throughout the bag. And are you seeing this in, obviously we, when we talk about this situation, we always assume that we're talking about high handicaps. I mean, it, it can be anybody. It can be. it can be tour player right up to an absolute beginner. You know, we are looking to make sure they get the correct gaps throughout the bag. So we have the tools, we've got the hybrids, we've got the utility irons. So for better players that want to ensure they've got that gappage, that don't want hybrids, we've got these golf clubs. So it's anybody. Yeah. Anybody will benefit from the gap testing. Yeah, and it's really, and again, you can, it's, building, it's building your setup. Um, I've just done a video on my three wood, and again, it can happen in any part of the bag where your yardages get out of sync. I've, I've had people that have hit eight irons and seven irons the same, to the point it's like, to be honest, remove your eight, put an extra wedge in. That's it's all about trying to maximise your set so it's going to help you the most on the course. Yeah, so say, you get 14 golf clubs, you want them all to do a different job. Whether that's the top end, whether that's the bottom end, let's just make sure we get it right for you. And that's what we'll do here at the Performance Centre, is make sure each club's going to do a job. It's all going to do a certain, certain distance so you can score better. Yeah, and the, the days have gone, haven't they, ordering pitch and wedge to three iron? That's it. Three to P on the shelf is not going to happen anymore. Four to pitches, even that's getting a little bit less regular now because hybrids are coming in, yeah. utilities are in. Why make the game hard? Use clubs that are there, they help you. Definitely, definitely. So at home, are you somebody, there must be somebody out there that's already done this or somebody that's considering maybe going into the winter period now thinking, where can I maximise my shot? Have you, have you thought about this going into hybrid? Are you somebody that actually goes, well, actually I like my three and I like my four and I can get them still to work? Um, I'd love to hear what you've got to say and I hope to catch you soon.